all the voices. Huh? What are you guys thinking? Mm -hmm. Want to know what a sanctuary looks like? Want to know what a place for cats that have no other place to go? This is a cat sanctuary. And I know Spanish, so Gato Casa. Gato Casa. Sanctuary. And lucky for these guys, uh, there is a snowstorm coming. And these guys get to be in a nice, warm place. Hi, Melanie. Hi, everyone. Here we thought that we were going to have a great, smooth sailing winter without much snow. And we could be getting up to 17 inches by Sunday. What the flock? Colin broke his hawk. Do you guys know that cats have a hawk? Hi, Brian. Hi, everyone. Isn't this crazy? I come to the store and when we have a phone, the cats are like, oh, they all want to see us. So you got to bring food out. Is that what you're thinking, Mindy and everybody? Fatty. Look at all these cats. Isn't this crazy? Were we on in, um, Instagram Live a little bit ago? Maybe, um, maybe Mel went in, on live on Instagram? What the flock? Paula, I went through the bricks and I, I went through and got rid of some of the duplicates. And I have to go through the one that we submitted. They just want me to, I just need to go through them and uh, just tell them what the changes are. We are getting ready to paver the backyard. R really, what the flock? There's a bunch of dock ducks. Ah, who's that cat? I should be watching that who's that cat, right? Who's that cat? Cienes esta niña. See, I know Spanish. Or Cienes esta niña. Who's that gato? You should do that. Who's that gato? This one is, is this one Grace or Rebecca? I got to look at the tail. This is Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca, because they all got a name. All of these cats have a name. Hi, Stephanie. All of these cats have a name. And Trixie, there, yep, there's Trixie right here. Trixie and Paris and Smacky Blackie, who's a girl. I thought, I thought Smacky was a boy, but she's a girl. Hi, Smacky. You a feisty one. Yeah, you fight. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. She's letting us pet her. Yeah, that's Smacky. Look at that. Blacky Smacky. Good job, Smacky. And there's Briar. Yes, the fan club got three freaking amazing pavers. We'll have to, um, I'll have to find them when they're delivered. And uh, it's a lot, a lot of work putting those pavers in. And if you guys ordered a paver, we're gonna do our best to put them in amazing places. We're gonna try and put the fan club by the logo. But of course, of course, everything gets to go through Julie. Hi, Kathy. Good evening from Minnesota. We are in Minnesota. We are caring for over 350 cats. Uh, they are all, they all have names. Um, yes, there's gonna be a design. 
And uh, we were waiting for our lands landscaper to get that. Hey, guess what Brett's working on right now? He is working on v-necks and tank tops because we hope to be able to have them on our shop furball farm shop by april 1st isn't that cool so brett i know you're not watching because you busy look there's barbie isn't barbie gorgeous right there um colton is so amazing uh, he's, he's amazing. He loves anybody that goes into the Airbnb. He loves you. So, hi, Linda. Um, the need for the pavers is very similar to the amount that we needed for the, what we already have. And we could not, we didn't have enough pavers, um, fundraising pavers to go all the way around. So we're going to finish that area. And the, um, the landscaper is going to have to um, open up some of the pavers, going to have to make a little uh, entryway for the machines to come in. Some people ask, well, where are the cats going to go when we work on the backyard? Well, remember when, remember the ball drop? Remember when the cats literally ran for their lives for the ball drop. And remember when a cat jumps into a, a tunnel, the cats run for their lives. Well, that's what's gonna happen when, when a machine comes in. These cats are not stupid. They will not hang out. They'll probably go up high and watch because they're curious. But uh, you don't have to worry about the safety of our cats because that is first and foremost as we go about uh, doing our backyard. And if you're wondering what we're doing in our backyard, I'll show you. Julie, silly Julie. That's Julie, by the way. She's the owner of this cat sanctuary. This is our backyard. And uh, last fall, we had it pavered. A walkway, we had this pavered. And um, we realized that it was such a great idea um, that we are going to do the inside. The cats love the pavers, uh, but um, the humans kind of don't like all of the work that is entailed with the grass that's in the middle here. So we are going to paver the inside, have lots of fun cat things for the cats. Hi, Cheryl. That's so crazy that it's lunchtime in, in New Zealand. Isn't that crazy? So we're going to have benches and lots of fun things for the gatos in this area. Um, there's, I don't know if you can tell, there's Tuxie 3. Hi, Tuxie 3. Hi, handsome boy. Somebody's ear earmarked for him, by the way. Julie, Julie put a little snippet out there tuxie three is a wanted boy anyway isn't that awesome anyways uh the area behind those two benches is all going to be prairie grass and everything outside of the pavers on the outside will be prairie grass and It'll be better for the cats and better for the humans. To Yay, Melanie, you know who it is. Um, it'll be better for the humans, more sanitary, and it won't smell, you know, it doesn't smell that bad because we're outside, but when it gets really warm and there's not a whole lot of wind, it's kind of like going to grandma and grandpa's house, right, on the farm. So this whole area is going to be pavered and um, the area by the door down there, they're going to have to pull, op pull up the pavers by the door so they can bring the machines in. They're gonna dig out some of this juicy land, grass, and they're gonna refill it with beautiful, wonderful, wonderful dirt and sand. Yeah, they don't, they don't watch this pooping sign. 
Yeah, Tuck C3 hangs out with us now. Right, Tuck C3. We're not sure. I don't, we probably, we're not going to do anything. This is all going to be pavered in here with our logo. But um, we're going to have uh, some fun things on the outsides for the cats and maybe a water fountain or something. That's TBD. Who knows, maybe these guys see back there where the sun shines. Who knows, maybe we expand sometime. Right? Wouldn't that be awesome if we could add more outside area for these awesome cats? Look at Easter Lily is just having fun out there. So we are caring for over uh, 350 cats. And the cats that uh, get to live here are cats that uh, regular rescues, animal control, humane society, ASPCA, all of them said no to because these cats were not handleable. And uh, we started in a garage eight years ago. Isn't that weird to say eight years ago, Julie? Look how much fun these guys are having. Isn't it fun to see Tuxie 3 blossom? Isn't it fun? And you know, the interesting thing is, is like um, Chris adopted, Chris adopted Jennifer, who we couldn't touch. We never could touch her at Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary. And after six months, she's a pain in the ashtray. So putting these cats, if, if it's possible, putting these cats in a home, home environment, Cow, it can, it can, there's Mega Man. It can work, it's, it can be a miracle worker if these cats have one-on-one, -on -one, look at these cats down here. They have one-on-one -on -one work. So if you've got stray cats in your neighborhood and, and they're feral or they're very unsocialized, take a chance on them. Uh, we got Tuxie 3 probably, what, nine months ago? I'll have to pull up his, um, his records. But I remember when we first got Tuxie 3, uh, somebody who paid to have his, he had such a severe injury. I can't remember why his leg had to be amputated, but his leg had to be amputated very, very costly. And one of our freaking amazing supporters paid for it. Uh... And I remember she would want to see Tuxie 3, and we would look and look and look, and we could never find Tuxie 3. He didn't even want to be seen. And now he's wonderful. Hi, Patrick. So I'm out in the catio. It's really windy out. Hey, there's Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Do, 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 do. Look at, there she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Delilah. So Delilah's story is she was living uh, next to and in a junkyard. Um, and occasionally people would feed her. And these people are now gone. And the people at the junkyard didn't want these stray cats anymore. Um, so Delilah came with Jolene. <clears throat> I love that name, Delilah. Doesn't she look beautiful? Where'd she go? She she is. Look at there's Tuxie Three playing. Oh no, that's not Tuxie Three. Cute. Is that Gilligan? Uh, that's funny. So we see Delilah all over, in the sanctuary, outside the sanctuary. Yeah, she's been fed well, as you can tell. And the people who live next to the junkyard moved. And nobody, uh, nobody, you know, I wish, you can't touch her. She's very feral. And I'm glad she at least let people know, let, these people let people know that they were leaving. And uh, some live trappers came in and uh, live trapped her. Excuse me, Oscar. Is this Oscar or Sheldon? Huh? Do you know that all of the screens in our sanctuary are pet friendly? 
Um, you know what? Somebody on Twitch, there's there's Tuxie three. Somebody on Twitch got a video of Mario outside. Mario is not a huge fan of being outside. He lived his whole life outside, and I think he enjoys just hanging inside. <clears throat> there's Niall. So this is what it looks like in our sanctuary. Um, Becky is closing tonight, and she will be doing the live tonight. And it's so surreal being here. I hope everyone puts this on your bucket list. Yep, the screens are pet friendly because if you notice, our cats climb those screens, and uh, they don't rip. I don't, can't remember what they're called, but Julie went and took all the screens in the sanctuary, all of them. And uh, she had them re-screened with pet, pet stuff. Julie will be back. Whoa, don't step on cats. <laughs> sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Are you going to let me pet you? Or are you mad at me? I, I stepped on that big boy. Um, we missed Julie too. Probably four weeks-ish in a month. I'm, everyone here is super excited to have her back. I like it because I always learn stuff. Julie's got a medical background. She's a vet tech. She's on uh, maternity leave. She's got twin baby boys. They're 21 years old. <laughs> and she's still, she's milking her maternity leave, let me tell you. I went to take a step when the cat went to take a step right by me, so... Hey, Jewel, um, I texted you and you didn't respond, girlfriend. Are you, uh, are you um, not gonna text me back? Rude. Check your phone. These guys are saying that they're starving to death, but there's Smacky over there. You guys see Smacky? It is so crazy. Isn't this a cool view? Hi guys. I'm kind of on ground level with the cats. The, the cat that was found yesterday is named Rip. So, Jewel ordered some pens and one of them was damaged during the packaging and we are gonna make it right, Jewel. So read your, read your text after this live. So isn't this a cool view of all these cats? Where's Maverick? Is he right in front of me? Oh, there he is. There he is. Hi. Isn't this so cool? Hi, Joanna. Where is a Vivi? Do you guys see a Vivi? I don't see her. I'm looking. But isn't this awesome? Um, we're expecting a snowstorm this weekend. We could get up to 17 inches of snow. Depends. Yes. I sent some depends. Oh, shoot. I looked away from the phone and I missed some comments. Hi guys, but I am looking for Aviv. I don't see her. I see Mega Man. Here, let me try and stand up. All right, we're, we are on the lookout. Hi, Yolanda. And if you like uh, seeing our cats, like a fish aquarium, I'm telling you, get the app Twitch. Ouch. Briar. That was not very nice, Briar. Hi, Briar. I I used the shelf, this counter to get up and he kind of kind of nipped at me. Hi, Briar. All right. North Dakota is getting snow. Are you going to send it this way? Oh, you're right, Aviv. Here, here she is. I'll go show you her. Uh, Rip, we don't know where Rip came from. 
Aviv. Hi, Aviv. Hi. Hi, Aviv. She's like, oh. Let me see if I can. Hi, Aviv. Uh, that's Aviv, right? I'm short. Here, let me back up. I think that's Aviv. <clears throat> yep, that's Aviv. Hi, Aviv. There's another picture of Julie. Look at all these awesome cats. There's another picture of Julie. Julie, we'll have to get another picture of you to put out here. That looks like me, but it's not me. That's Julie, by the way. There's quite a few pictures of Julie. There's another one over here. You'll, you'll see when Julie gets back here, you will see that that really is Julie. Isn't this awesome? All right, so North Dakota is getting snow. You're gonna send it our way, I can tell. Isn't this crazy, all these gatos? The video is, so, so is the video really good? Well, that's good that it hasn't frozen. I wish we could get more um, followers on YouTube and really have social media help us fund all this stuff, right? Hi, Faith! Isn't this crazy? What Does your counter look like this? Isn't this cool? So we hope that you all put, um, put us on your bucket list because this is really crazy. Hi, Alice! Hi, Allie. All right, let's go see Gunner. Do you guys want to see? It's really funny when you walk in there. Gunner owns that room now. It's his room. And um, who's that fax? What does that mean? Hi, Jill. There's Becky. Sporting an awesome shirt. Woo, woo. Yep, it's really soft, too. What is the fax person talking about? Is it a uh, um, joke? I missed it. What the flock? Uh, everyone's saying hi, Becky. Becky is going to have an amazing live tonight on Facebook at 8 o'clock. So let's go see. Um, let's go see. Hi, guys. Hey, here are the kittens that were live trapped. Uh, these are the kittens that were living in a storm drain. Let's go see them. It's Sue Anna and Marilyn. And Rip is in here too. Rip's, Rip's down there. Hi, Rip. He's a rip roaring awesome cat. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Aren't they beautiful? So the one on the right has the Marilyn Monroe dot. And the one on the left is Suanna. Hi, do you think I could pet you? Doesn't that feel good? Look, she's not even hissing anymore. Hi, pretty girl. Hold on, Rip, I'll pet you in a minute. Hi. So we've had her one more day than Marilyn. So she's getting a little bit, oh. Hi, so these guys were spayed today. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Marilyn. Do you think I could pet you? Mm -hmm. Hi. So maybe Tuxy 3, maybe Tuxy 3 uh, has, is, has a big interest. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, pretty girl. You're so soft. 
You are so soft. How high can I pet her? Hi. Doesn't that feel good? Huh? Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, you're so pretty. You are so pretty. We are caring for over 350 cats. And even though we just got three more in, we're still caring for over 350 cats. Okay, let's go see Rip. Rip, come here, baby boy, come here. Hi, handsome, oh, hi, handsome boy. How come you're crying? Huh? Hi, baby, hi, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh, why are you crying? Hi, come out here. Can I see you? Can I see you? Hi, baby boy. Oh, he's got the cutest little cry. Oh, what's wrong? Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby boy. Yeah, we only use the cone if necessary. Do you see that the cats are licking themselves? No. In fact, Julie, have we ever used the cone on a, on a spay? I don't even think. They've got dissolvable sutures. They've got 24 hour pain meds. And um, God, both Julie and I both had uh, C-sections So we're kind of in the same boat as these guys. And both Julie and I went shopping, even though you're not supposed to. Really, the day the, with my first baby, I went clothes shopping for my daughter. <laughs> right away, I was so excited that I had a girl. And the cone of shame. Yep, lampshades. All right, let's go see Gunner. Mm. Bye, guys. Happy healing. These guys will never have babies. Isn't that awesome? They won't have any babies that could actually live in a drain. That's where these guys were living. We're in a, a drain. Julie, I didn't have a litter like you did. Julie has five kids. Isn't this cool? Look at this. Isn't this cool? Don't you want to hang here? I'm telling you, if you if you love cats. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's go see Mr. Gunner and JP. And there's uh there's a uh, custard. Hi custard. Hi custard. Do you want to go back in the room? Oh, I got to turn Judge Judy off. You want to come in here, custard? Hi, Preston. I'll have to shut that window. It's get, gonna get cold now. So here are some gatos. That white one is Preston. A tail stepped on his. Tilty's doing awesome. Um, a tail stepped on his, a tail. A cow stepped on his tail. It looks like a rabbit, doesn't he? Let me shut this. There's Mr. Colin. Let me shut this window. There. There's Portia Kitty. She came down. She likes to stay up on top of that cupboard. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Taz. A tail stepped on a cow. <laughs> okay. I meant a cow stepped on Preston's tail. There's Natalie. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, no, that's Clover. Hi, Clover. Hi, Clover. She is so adoptable. She is wonderful. This is a cat that was going to be put in a barn, have barn life, and she's just wonderful. She, she deserves a family, like all cats. Look at Preston's like, is she going to look for me again? Hi, handsome boy. Hi. Do you know what? We can pick him up and hug him and kiss him, but he always looks so scared. Don't be scared, little boy. 
It's G-U-N-N-A-R, Gunner. Hi, handsome boy. We need someone to come and adopt Preston and get, he's just a little boy. He's like five months old. He needs a family. He needs a family. He's a clean boy too. Get the eye boogie. I will later. My shoulders hurt. I can tell it's going to get cold. He's got two eye boogies he needs you to come dig out. Hi, Clover. Clover, where's your family, huh? Where's your family? And there's Carl. Ooh, shoot. So I think that the... Um, I wonder why that did that. Sorry, the gimbal. Ooh, I wonder. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the gimbal is, I wonder if the gimbal only works for a certain amount of time. Because it's on a full battery. Sorry, did I make you guys sick? <laughs> Sorry about that. So this, I, I, Julia, I had to take the phone off the gimbal. Because it goes crazy after a little bit. Scare we. All right, I'm surprised Gunner didn't come out. Gunner, where are you, boy? He's tired. Gunner. Hi, Gunner. Come here. Look at here comes Pete, Julie. Hi, Pete. Julie, do you know we had somebody ask if they could adopt him the other day? I said, I'm sorry, he's Julie's cat. Julie would be mad. Um, Julie's Pete is here because there's nobody at her house. And he loves people. And Julie, I'm thinking that he loves it here. I'm thinking since you're going to be here when you're here from Florida, he stays here because he loves it here. And now JP and Gunner are buds. Right. Come here. So if, if you are new here, this is Gunner. Um, Clover, that wasn't very nice. Poor Gunner, you can smack her if you want. Go ahead, Gunner. You survived a bullet. You, you, Superman. Ooh, Clover. Gunner is Superman, aren't you? Yes, he survived a bullet. So he was shot in the hip. His pelvis was pulverized. I can't remember the, the word. But um, his poop shoot is crooked, so he's going to be on... Uh, he's going to be on a stool softener the rest of his life, so he, he's at risk for obstruction. Yeah, please like this video, y'all. Let's show Bill Gates and all them that we are something. Isn't he so cute? I, it's shattered, yep. But she used the word pulverized. Gilbert is, where's Gilbert? I just saw him. He's in here. Uh, oh, Gilbert's right there. Gilbert's right there. He's so cute. He's got the cutest face ever. We'll go see him in a minute. Here's Oliver. Isn't he so handsome? He needs a home. When you hold him, shattered. Same with his pelvis. And it healed at an angle. Um, Gunner uh, is awesome. If you are looking for a sweet boy that needs confidence... Um, when you hold him, he snuggles right in, but he's still afraid. He's a work in progress. So Oliver is awesome. And Alicia is a work in progress. She's part of the Brady Bunch as well. Same with Oliver. I know, isn't isn't Gunner just fabulous? Gunner, and I think he knows his name. Gunner. Hi, handsome boy. He's tired. He's been up all day. Yeah, Dr. Mills was astonished that, that Gunner could could um, walk also and go potty. Cause she kept asking, Can you go can you go to the bathroom? Yeah, I watched him go to the bathroom. I watched him poop and pee. Cause honestly, I was afraid of that too. We were afraid of that too. So he's doing great. He's a survivor. He could have laid down there and just given up, but he didn't. So here is Gilbert. Doesn't he have the cutest face? Hi, Gilbert. You got booger nose? You got booger nose. You got booger nose. Hi, cutie patootie. So Gilbert is doing good. 
So the facts of life. This is the facts of life. Ugh. Isn't he so cute? Hey, facts. Why don't you come and meet these cats? It's awesome. All these guys are survivors. Yeah, and if you don't like cats, I'm telling you, the best thing you can do to enhance your life is go find a passion. Go find a passion that benefits you and the world, and it doesn't bring people down. We are volunteer-based, just trying to do good. I love that show, The Facts of Life, but honestly, facts, don't waste your time here. I'm telling you, life is too short. And when you're, when you're on your deathbed, you're going to go, why was I mean to the, the Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary people? God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm telling you, there's Barbie. Don't fill your life with, with things that... Don't fill your life with being mean to people and things, okay? Let's make this be a better world. If you don't like cats, what are you doing here, right? Go find your snake channel. Go find your volcano channel. Go find your astronaut channel or whatever. And if you like, if you like cats, then you should stay here. Um, Piper is in one of the rooms. Um, she wasn't feeling well, so we put her in there, and we had uh, our veterinarian look at her, and I believe that Mel, I think she's on, I'm not sure what's going on with her. That's not my, I can only control what I can control and take care of what I can con take care of. Thank God Julie has surrounded herself with lots of people. Um, I can't micromanage, and neither can she. All I know is Piper's doing good better than the other day so so it's going to be really cold here and so uh i'm sure our heated floors will will turn on yep brielle and pete are both in the um the meet and greet room. And you know what? We open the door to see if they want to come out and they don't. And it's not because it's scary here. It's because they enjoy being out there. Pete has walked out a couple times and then he goes right back in. He legit likes it in the meet and greet room. If they want to come out, they can. Now we won't let Alicia out. We're not going to let the littles out because our sanctuary is over 14,000 square feet. We want to keep an eye on them and work with them. Uh, Brielle is not a scaredy cat, and JP is not a scaredy cat. I hear a meow. -er. Do you see Tuxie? Look how happy these guys are. They probably look forward to when the, um, when the heated floors turn on. They haven't turned on yet because it's still warm in here, but once it gets really cold outside. Right, so we have a lot of black cats because they are better at hiding than the whites um, outdoors. Um, where's Bun Bun? Bun Bun's probably napping somewhere. Oh, yep, there's Bun Bun. We gotta get Bun Bun on our camera as much as possible because um, she's older. Bun Bun. And our goal with these cats is to socialize them enough to maybe they can find their own home someday. You guys, don't smack each other. Don't have your kerfuffles when I'm live, please. Please look at, so just like your own family, you and your siblings had some kerfuffles. You had to figure out the pecking order. That's what these guys do. And you know what? Honestly, they have fun. These guys have fun. All right, so everyone uh, go take your showers or whatever. 
go eat your lunch or your breakfast or whatever time of the day it is. And then we are going to thank you. Thank you, BCC. From, an, from a rescuer in Arizona. Thank you so much for your donation. But Becky will be going live at 8 o'clock, which is in 45 minutes. So y'all ordered a mug from us, right? Or maybe you ordered a shot glass. What, what do you, what's going to be in your shot glass, right? Uh, so get ready. Make some popcorn or make your snacks. Get ready for our live in 45 minutes. We go live on Facebook regularly, uh, starting at 9 a.m. There's Gilligan. 9 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. So your TV night, every night at 8 p.m., instead of watching the news, which is just Debbie Downer, Debbie Downer, you got to watch Furball Farm, Cat Sanctuary Facebook TV. Uh, you'll get your uh, cat fix. All right, thanks for watching. If you haven't liked this video yet, please like it. If you are watching this and it's not live, thank you for watching the ads. Those help us. We are a nonprofit, uh, volunteer based. Please put us on your bucket list. Uh, come and visit. And if you are looking for some a, a, a wardrobe change or some accessories, Go to www.furballfarmshop.com and you can be cool like Becky, right? All right, see you guys on... Right, and we cannot control the ads that you see. We don't control any of the ads because um, if we did, it'd all be Furball Farm stuff, all of it. All right, uh, go to furballfarmshop.com and we will see you soon and see you on Twitch. Our handle's furball underscore farm. Good night. Oh, crap. I always do that. Did you guys see my sweatshirt? <laughs> Bye.